Shalom and Hag Sameach. This is Rabbi Sanford Axrod, your virtual rabbi. Well, we celebrated all of these wonderful holidays, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So what's next? Of course, it's Sukkot. Well, we all know that for Sukkot, there are special symbols. There is this bumpy lemon-like thing called an etrog, and then there's a lulav, which we wave to and fro. Haven't you always wondered where the rabbi has gotten it? Follow me for a moment. Come on over here. This is the rabbi's fridge. Shh. What do you what do you think I have here? Let's see. Let's take a look. Don't you have this in your own fridge? Yep. It just so happened that I have an etrog. Now, we better go find the lulav. Come with me. What do you know? Look what I found in the temple fridge. It looks like a lulav. Well, I gotta be honest with you. These were mailed to us via Israel. In Israel, they actually have trees, an etrog tree, where they grow the special citron. If you look at it, you can see that it looks like, well, it looks like a bumpy lemon, but it's not. It has a very sweet aroma to it, and its symbolism is the human heart. This is the lulav. You can see that it is made up of the palm branch and the myrtle and the willow. This represents the spine, this represents the lips, uh, the, the lips and the eyes of a human being. Combining them together, it forms symbolically a Jewish human being. And when we wave it, it's a reminder that Jews are everywhere and that God is throughout the world. These four species are mentioned in the book of Leviticus and a reminder of our ancient heritage when the Jews wandered in the desert and they went from place to place and where they lived, they lived in hut-like structures called the sukkah. So let's go find our sukkah. So what should we do? All right. First of all, I think we need a new shirt. It says Jews with tools. We'll put a slash mark in it. We can do it. We built those pyramids. We can build a sukkah. And believe it or not, and believe it or not, with all the with all the Jews that were working on it, it came out. Well, so I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about Sukkot and that you make your way to Temple this Friday night for a wonderful Sukkot experience. We've now answered that wonderful question. If you build it, will they come? Jews throughout the world have built Sukkot, and wherever there is a Sukkah, there is a Jew in a Jewish household celebrating their past, their heritage, and their tradition. Hag Sameach to you. A wonderful holiday. This is Rabbi Sanford Axrod, your virtual rabbi. Shalom.